Hi there, most welcome to Real Calling, where we preview Ghana's participants at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games and also the Paralympic Games. We have 16 first time Olympians who will be in Rio, as well as three Ghanaians who will be representing the Ghanaian contingent at the Rio Paralympic Games. My name is Christian Amo, I'm a national weightlifter. I'm from Fedu, the central region of Ghana. I've been doing weightlifting for the past three years now. My name is Abeku Jackson. I'm a national swimmer from Ghana. I'm representing Ghana at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. I'm from Minibar. Keep watching Rio Calling. Hi, my name is Manu Daso from Ghana. I run track and forth for uh, Ghana from Upper East Bulga. I go to school at Western Kentucky University and I hold the indoor uh, national record in the, in the 200 and the 400 meters. Watch out for the countdown to Rio 2016 on Liquid GATV. I started my life in Abilekuma. That was when I started everything. So I was, I was playing football before I saw people lifting on TV, so I had a passion for it. So I decided to do with lifting. When I was growing up, I was a stone cracker because my parents was not having a lot of money to support my school. So I decided, I decided to do what they were doing. So that's what I started in life before I saw weightlifting. So I had a passion for it this year and then I joined weightlifting. It wasn't easy. Cracking a stone, even if you are there and you hit a stone, you can even feel it. Cracking a stone is not a job. Though it's a job for some people, but it's not easy. Cracking stone is not easy at all. But through financial difficulties, that's what happens. Sometimes I miss a lot of target. And that's what brings the injury sometimes. Yeah, we were seven in my family. Because of money and stuff, so we were not able to do more than but we were not able to do what others were doing so we all started cracking stone everybody find his way so i was one day watching tv and i saw weightlifting so that was when i joined which i had interested in it and i joined it um there were one guy in this gym who was called Big Joe. So my parents went there one day to crack a stone for the guy. So they, they hear people calling and the national coach, Majeti Fetri, Kochi, Kochi, Kochi. So he thought he was a footballer coach. So he went there and told him he had a guy who is good in playing football. So the coach told him, yes, no, I'm not a football coach, rather I'm a weightlifting coach. That time I was also interested in lifting metals, going to gym and stuff. So he told him then he had a guy who's interested in metal. So he introduced me to the coach and also the coach brought me to the gym. That's when I started doing the game. On my first day that I got into the gym, I saw the people around and I was like, this thing I can't do it. But the moment I touched the bar, I touched the bar. I was like, I will do it because that's what I used to do in the house. No weight lifting, but power lifting. So when I feel the weight and then I see how my strength is, so I told the coach I'm interested in it and I want to do it again. And through my seriousness, everything that the coach tells me, I used to listen because I was ready to do the game. So everything that the coach, the coach sometimes tell me, do this that so I focus on what he always told me so I always focus on what he tells me and I work with that and it took me six months before getting into the national platform um, when I was called to represent Ghana at my first tournament was in Tunisia I was very excited because I wasn't I was young because I wasn't expecting a young guy like me would be called to represent Ghana. 
So I was very happy when I was called. And my first time that I put on Ghana well, and I was very happy. It was sometimes none of my friends have put on that shirt before. So when I put on, I was very happy. My first time that I got into a plane, I was very happy. Because it was my first time. And also I was a little afraid because moving into the air is not easy. So I was like, I was quiet in the plane. If anyone asks me a question, I don't even talk. So we get into the country before I answered people. Um, I, was, I was okay when I saw them. Yeah. I was like they were human beings like I am. So I wasn't thinking anything bad for them. It was my first time competing in African Championship. So I was happy representing my country. My place fit in my class and also sit at the point. So I was happy because that, it was my second chance of representing Ghana. So when I went to Tunisia, I couldn't get medal there. So I focused and then I put in my mind that when I go there, surely I'll get medal so that my country will be proud of me. Winning the bronze was not easy because as you can see, when you are lifting metals, it's heavy and then you struggle before you lift. So when I won the medal, I was very happy because the medal, I haven't even seen medal before. I haven't seen silver, gold and then bronze. When I saw my silver, I was like, I'm in heaven now. So I was very happy. I feel very happy when I won medal in the African Youth Games in Botswana. The weather in Botswana was very cold, more than in Ghana. So when I went there, I suffered for the first week when I get into the country. So my training was like, the training wasn't going through when I get there for the first week. After the first week, I started doing better. He was very happy because we were all struggling for the gold medal. But it was my first time, so I couldn't make it. I was trying to get a good, but mom passed me. So <laughs> I couldn't get that medal. When I got home from the African Youth Games, Botswana, they were all happy about me because of the medal that I got. So they were all laughing, everything was like cool in the house. It was I'm the first person in the family that I've traveled, so we were all happy. That was the first time I had dollar. So I was very, even though it wasn't enough, but I was very happy I had because I haven't seen some before. So when I got it, I was like, I'm okay. <laughs> My name is Abeku Jackson. I'm a national swimmer from Ghana. I'm representing Ghana in the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. I'm from Minibar. Keep watching Rio Calling. Hi, my name is Manu Daso from Ghana. I run track and forth for uh, Ghana from Upper East Bulga. I go to school at Western Kentucky University and I hold the indoor uh, national record in the, in the 200 and the 400 meters. Watch out for the countdown to Rio 2016 on Liquid GATV. The African Youth Championship that I attended, that was the youth game. So I couldn't see some of heavy lift, and so when I got to when I get to Glasgow, that was when I get more experience in weightlifting. It was when I went to the youth and youth championship. It was like we are all playing, but when I get into Glasgow, I saw that this the biggest tournament I've ever seen. So I was very happy. I did my best in that tournament because I was chosen to represent Ghana, so I have to make Ghana proud. So I did all my best for Ghanaians. I was chosen to represent Ghana because I was the only person lifting 
help me wait in the gym. And also my president know when I go when I go there, if any opportunity comes, I can get medal from that tournament. So that's what happened before. 85 category. I placed fifth. I was stra I'm struggling to get bronze, but I couldn't make it. I did all my best, but I couldn't make it. The one who got bronze lifted um 140 snatch and then did 167 jack then i was doing 130 snatch 155 jack i didn't feel any, any pains because i know it has happened so i just need to relax and then look for the next time that it wasn't painful to me when i i didn't get my dad at that point because I know I did my best. Um, I was very happy when I was called to represent Ghana at the World Championship in the US. I only told my, my, my family I've been selected to represent Ghana at the World Championship. So they were all happy. Even that time, my father was not alive. So I was even, I was little not happy my father was not alive when I'm going to represent Ghana at the World Championship. But the rest of my family were happy and also they were proud of me. My father was sick when I was when I'm back from Congo. So we took him to our village for um, medication. So after the medication he was well for about two days. For the two days I was called, my father is not alive. My father has passed away, so that's what happened. It didn't affect me, because I know it's something that it do happen to anyone. But I was young when he passed away. So I was like, who's going to feed me? And then who's going to give me advice? And then that was what sometimes when I set up less busy i used to think about it i was very happy when i got to america even when i was told i'm going to represent ghana at the world championship so when they told me that tournament is going to be in america i was very happy i said well this is my first time i'm going to america you know, so sometimes i used to be like I will be going to America when I grow in future. So when I, I got that opportunity, I was very happy about it. I was very excited of myself. And when I got there, the weather changes, and then I was, I was like, sometimes when I move out, I say, yeah, I come America. It was, it, <laughs> it was my dream. And also my dream has come true. So I always be in a happy mood. When I when my people call me, I used to tell them, Charlie, I'm in America or oh, I do this. When even if my mother call me, I say, Oh, you people should come here and America is very nice. It's a nice country. So soon you all be coming here. That was my first time of being in a limousine. Even I haven't seen some before, till I went to America. So my first time that we were coming back to Ghana, the ambassador was he was coming to pick up and pick us up to the airport. So we were there when the limo uh, limousine came. So I was there. So like, oh Jesus! <laughs> I was like, Jesus! I'm also coming to sit inside the limousine. So. I was very happy to the maximum level that it, it took me about five minutes before getting into the limousine because I was very happy about it. And the atmosphere, everything was normal. As I took it like when I went to Glasgow because I saw many people but not like they came in the World Championship in Houston. So when I got into the platform, I was very happy. And then the people there, I used to talk to them, we all mingled together. 
I took more experience there, which was like my techniques. I went to correct my techniques, how to lift, and then how to. I mean, I went to learn more about weightlifting. We went to Cameroon as a team qualifier. So our preparation there was very good. Even when we were going to the tournament, when we were going to Cameroon, people were saying we won't qualify, we were saying like we are not well prepared. But we going, we know that when we go, we are going to qualify, but we know our strength. So when we get there, everything was in control, everything was well, training, food, everything was good. So we all started lifting. And then um, we started lifting when after we finished our competition, so we had the um, we had the people saying we've qualified to Rio. So we were all excited, happy, even that night. We were happy in the room, saying, jubilating in the in the room. So when we came back to Ghana, and they announced we've qualified before we came back to Ghana. So at the airport, media men came over and then took a shot of us. Come join your when they were deciding who to go today to represent Ghana in Brazil. Um, I know I will be chosen because looking at my rank, I rank 27 in the world. So I know, and also I've won medal for Ghana. So I know Ghanaians have hope in me that when I go, I will do my best. So I was, anytime when I'm in the house, I don't even think about it because I know I'll be the one going. Um, yes, I think the Olympic will be bigger than the World Championship. Looking at the World Championship, World Championship, though it's a hard tournament, but for the Olympics, it's not easy to get into the platform. The secret to my success is God. Because it's not easy to travel to a different country without God. So being in Tunisia, Botswana, and United States of America, Cameroon, Congo, I think God is with me. Without God, I wouldn't have made it. I know I, I have suffered before. And it wasn't easy for me, but I do a hard faith in God that soon I'll be I'll be a big person in future. The person who helped me to this time now is Usi Nakuetade, which is our secretary general. When I started weightlifting, I wasn't having enough money to even come to train. So, and also due to my performance in training, that was what made him like he was trying to help me. When I go there for money, he used to give me. So he was a person who helped me a lot. My president, Benu Numensa, did work for me. Even up to now, he's still doing it. When, I'm, when I, I don't have money, if I don't have money and I pick up a, a phone and call him, um, President, President Benu Numensa, today I don't have money to go to training. He tells me, come home or meet me. And also if I meet him, he all the time gives me money for training. And even my vitamins, he buy it for me. And also, um, Charles says to be, as we all know, he sometimes help me. Even though something, or any time that I tell him I'm in a need, and I take a phone and call him, he always tell me, Christian, meet me, do this. So he has also helped me a lot. My coaches, Majeti Fetri has helped me before. He was. He was the one who introduced me to the game. He did a lot of things for me in the game. 
know, so before our recent coach Abu Bakar Taylor, he is the coach that has, and he is still helping me. Even now, I have attended much places. I've been to many places, but I still don't have what to, I mean, help myself. And he is the one helping me now through my food and then even how to where to sleep. He's helping me now. I hope to achieve more goals at the Olympic Games. Like I'll be happy if any opportunity comes. I'll be able to get medal. I can't promise I'll get medal, but for the good name for my country, I will do it. And also I'll be happy representing Ghana, lifting my mother Ghana flag high. And at the Olympic Games, I'm going to do my personal best at the Olympic Games. I'm doing 135 snatch and then 165 jack. So that any opportunity that comes, I'll be able to get in that. And after the Olympic Games, when I come back to my, uh, my country, I'll be helping the junior ones coming. So anytime that I come to the gym, I'll be advising them, I'll be telling them to push high, to get to the level that I have gotten. So any time, I'll be advising them, and also I'll tell them being an Olympian is not easy. I'm the first male representing Ghana at the Olympic Games. And I'm very happy, I'm very excited to represent Ghana at the Olympic Games. My advice to the people out there suffering that they should relax. When the time comes, they will be able to do it. So not they will, even not their suffering or something like that. I think soon God will do it, so they should. Pray to God as I did mine. And now I'm happy I'm the first male weightlifter representing Ghana at the Olympic Games.